this has been intense, man. Like, workshops have been <clears throat> from 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. to like midnight. So how am I going to carry out Christ's commission to evangelize and proclaim his word, proclaim him if I don't even speak the language? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. All right, so we're here at the conference. Conference has started. So hi, Jimmy. Hello. I know you're getting annoyed with this. Why? Have we got another friend? Uh, Hello. Like... I'm vlogging. Oh, oh, oh hi, sorry. <laughs> oh my God. No worries, no problem. Hi. Welcome to Thinking Theologically Conference 2019. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys are so nice. So the charismatic movement picked up speed uh, sometime 50 years back, right? And uh, now, at least in Malaysia, most churches are charismatic already. So our elective will be about uh, looking into how the way charismatics read the Bible would affect the way how they view Jesus or they believe in Jesus as well. So that's my elective. See you then. Thinking face. I think to help your thing better, on the count of three, you go, hmm. <laughs> Yo, so today is day three, no, day three, yeah, day three of the Thinking Theologically Conference in Malaysia. And yo, this has been intense, man. Like, workshops have been <clears throat> from 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. till like midnight with about maybe like two, uh, maybe like three or four hours break. So we're talking like between 10, like 10 hours of just straight teaching, like, workshops talks it's been intense oh boy like these these guys here man it's i've i've never seen a group of like 20 20 somethings like so so, so like rigorously studying the scriptures to get to know the person of jesus like the whole the seminars um are on christology and <clears throat> understanding essentially understanding that we can know God through his son so looking at like the deity of Jesus what that means for us for atonement how does that fit into God's plan for mankind why is the deity of Jesus important what are different views of of Jesus and his deity oh fam it's intense I want Zach. We, funny enough, we actually went to the same yeah. uni, but yeah. we never met in Birmingham. Uh, he was hiding, and so was I at some point. So. And he, believe it or not, he's older than me. So. Yes. A couple years older than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Malaysians look very young. But <laughs> Zach, how how did you find how did you find the conference? Uh, I found it really helpful, uh, really engaging. I think it reshaped a lot of my own understandings, despite being in GGF for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, it was encouraging having Emmanuel around as well, like he had lots of thoughts and we talked quite a bit. Yeah, yeah that was good. <laughs> I heard a lot about like the charismatic churches here. Yeah. How would you describe it? So, I would say we adopt a lot of practices and thinking from the West, but unfortunately the difference is uh, within our culture, English is not our first language. Right. And our thought, our thinking, thought processes are not as clear sometimes, it takes a while for us to learn different things. Right, right, right. So I think that really affects how we understand even what we believe as charismatics. Right. Uh, if it, I, I was from a charismatic church. Right, right, yeah. right. And scripture being like God's re like revelation to us, mm. is that still like the charismatic still in Malaysia still maintain that as well? Yeah, I would think so. I would believe okay. so. They believe that scripture will be uh, something very foundational to yeah. believe, but. Uh, I think the key difference would be that experience or an external revelation becomes something of great significance, if not, if not even more significant than scripture. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And I guess that's quite similar to the UK as well. One thing that's, I guess, like a big similarity in the UK with not every, but um, some, of the, some of the charismatic churches that move a bit further from the Bible is that there is, um, the Bible is seen as, um, the Bible is almost like paramount or like same level with um, personal revelation yeah. that, that people are given. Yeah. So it makes it difficult because then you can't really challenge anybody because it's what God told me. Yeah. 
to do exactly. yeah. and, and if like if God told me to do it and it's as inspired as the word of God then yeah. you know you and sometimes it's about it. really specific things like yeah. like God told me God told me to tell you to quit your job tomorrow and go and go and move to this place you know, stuff like that like yeah. and yeah. everything so yeah. it can be really like it's almost like impossible to it's impossible to have a renewed mind yeah. and to deepen your understanding of God because you're, you're, it's very instinctive. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. I think uh, a helpful kind of corrective or a helpful mindset to have with this is to kind of understand really what God has already revealed in Scripture, to have it so clear in your mind yeah, that yeah. the decisions that you make even after receiving these revelations yeah, can be yeah. rightly challenged from what you understand of what God is doing. Yeah. yeah. So, if for instance God wants me to move to uh, China or like uh, parts of India, but I don't speak Chinese really, really well. So I, I said, okay, so how am I going to carry out Christ's commission to evangelize and proclaim His word, proclaim Him if I don't even speak the language? Yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. kind of thing. So it's gonna. Yeah. Be and I guess you're you're at liberty to decide that you want to teach the word of God in KL, right? Yeah. Like because ultimately, like God's heart is that like, His word, will, His kingdom will spread through the preaching of His word. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I, it's not sin if you choose to do it here or there. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it'd be more helpful for me if, uh, and more beneficial, I guess, in the ministry at whole, because I know Malaysians better yeah, yeah, than yeah, yeah, yeah. well someone really far away who or might already have a lot of support. Even. Yeah, 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 true, 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 true. true. All right, man, that's good. Bye. Do you believe this? Crystal water formulation led to more problems, but it is part and parcel of the church's ongoing love for God and maturity to struggle and to reflect and to have to articulate and to continue to defend the truth about Jesus Christ. He tells us, go forth and teach what I have taught you, teaching us to do what I have shown you and commanded you. And that word teach is expanded by Paul to mean rebuke, correct, train, and of course teach. Ah, so TTC conference is officially over. It is over. So now we are back in KL. Ah, uh, yeah, back in KL. Uh, TTC was amazing. Uh, it was sick. I didn't catch as much footage as I wanted to because I was just immersed in like hella theology, but still had some amazing combos. There's a lot of them. Um, Faithful men and women of God in KL. Uh, there's definitely a lot of work that needs to be done for the Malaysian church, as I'm learning, um, in regards to that like, literacy and, and like independent Bible study and independent like study of theology. However, God is doing the work, man. Um, the pastor is mad inspiring. He taught like, what, about, he preached for about 16, 17 hours over four days um, on like minimal sleep an hour sleep in that 36 hours one period of time he told me so just seeing people that are so passionate for the gospel and for not just the not just the gospel and seeing people saved but seeing disciples mature and come to full understanding of who god is because if you don't know who god is through the study of theology then you don't know who you are as a creation of god therefore you cannot live the way that God has created you to live, you're always going to be deficient. So it's, it's like the study of theology is almost like the pursuit to be human, to be fully human. And as you find out that Jesus is the image of God, as the scriptures say, and we become more like Jesus by understanding more of Jesus, that's how we become not just better humans, but fully human. It's weird. Like So yeah, I've enjoyed this trip. It took me a while to get into the conference because the style of learning was different, like I said. 
and you guys are, I had to I had to humble myself as the Brit to adapt to your environment <laughs> and, not, and not just assume everybody to adapt to mine um, but once I once I did that I was able to really get stuck into the to, to immerse myself in learning and not just like sharing but actually learning you know so yeah praise god man i'm a better man for it better man for it i can't wait to get to the uk and just like fight all the heresies everywhere including yourself yeah including my own i need to go through my videos again and see what heretical stuff i've said <laughs> and then like take it down <laughs> and then uh, uh, public publicly up uh, for real publicly apologize and retake it right yeah so <laughs> but, yeah man so god willing tomorrow will be a dope day um and we'll see where the Lord takes us. So say good night, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. I said say good night. Good night. <laughs> All right, All let's right. go. I'm gonna show this. I'm gonna I'm gonna school this uncircumcised Malaysian. Oh my gosh! Let's Do go. it, Em. What a cool <laughs> sequence. What? Ah! I'm gonna show this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna school this uncircumcised Malaysian. <laughs> <laughs> right guys, that's all I can give you. As you can see, I'm out of breath. Yeah, you suck. Very unfit. If this was football, it'd be a walk in the park. Right. Yeah. Watch. Yeah. You can share that about every other sport. Oh. Yo, ciao. Okay. Yeah, but basically it's uh. All stick. You can all stick them. Well, it literally translate to all stick, but eat it. Uh -huh. And once they hold it, full of the soup. Yeah. Just eat it. <laughs> How long is too long? No, I'm fine. Ready? I'm fine. Now. Oh, oh. You know oh. How to uh, no! You don't know how to use chopsticks. I do. I'll need that one there. I'll get this one. This one, this one, this one. I didn't know how to use chopsticks. I was just multitasking. <laughs> okay, wait. Let it sit. Yep. All that stuff. Yep. All that good stuff. Yep. yep, all around. Cool. I eat it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. is here. That's good. So, almost at the end of the trip. Last day in KL. At the airport now. Jimmy, you're gonna miss me? You're lying. You're li you knew you're lying. Oh, you're gonna say, oh, Emmanuel, I'm sorry we didn't get to spend more time, huh? Whatever you wanna say, <laughs> That's really good. Malaysian, Malaysian slang is saying la, by the way. Like, Jimmy la. It's time to go, huh? <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. That was good. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, man, it's been an amazing trip. I've been so edified, um, so tired, I barely slept, well, yeah, I barely slept, actually. Um, not as bad as others, but still, yeah, it's been a beautiful trip. If you get a chance to come to Malaysia, come to TTC and visit CERC. GGF. GGF. Something about GGF. Gospel Growth Fellowship. Gospel Growth Fellowship. Oh, these, they gave me a band that says, loyal to Jesus, loyal to his church and what? Loyal to his what? Sorry? Loyal to Jesus, loyal to his, loyal to his gospel, church. loyal to this church. church. And then the other one says, here I stand in my conscience captive. No, here I stand my conscience captive to the word of God. And on the inside, it's got the five solars. If you don't know what the five solars are, I'll probably do a series on that at some point. Any last words, Jimmy? No? 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 You sure? You sure, huh? Jimmy, huh? Nothing more to say, huh? You sure? Huh? No, you need to say something better. <laughs> you need to speak better. <laughs> Alright, peace guys. Peace.